Hello everyone, welcome in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to this program. Uh, as I started last time, I will continue um, and devouring about the uh, Jesus Christ, about the Kingdom of God. And today I have a question for you and I'm going to explain a little bit about it. How can you become a child of God? How can somebody can become a child of God? This is the most important question that everybody should ask and try to answer because it is the, it has everlasting significance. The significance of this question, the importance of this question is very important, very, very great because it, it goes beyond our earthly life. It goes beyond that. It answers our destiny, eternal destiny. So I have this question, how can you become a child of God? Uh, I'm going to explain it to you and show you from the Bible. Today I'm going to read from the, the, the Gospel of John uh, chapter 1. <clears throat> All things were made by him. And without him was not anything that was made that was made. So it's talking about Jesus Christ uh, is explaining, uh, which is uh, which is was mentioned in in which it is mentioned here in in uh, uh, verse one and two. So verse three it tells us uh, that everything was made by Jesus Christ. He's the creator of the the universe. This beautiful, magnificent, amazing world. And then he came into this world. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So Jesus Christ, he has life. He has life because he's uh, is the eternal King. And then he came with his life and to give us as a sacrifice because we are sinners. We cannot be, you know, uh, righteous before God. And because of that, we are condemned for everlasting uh, punishment. And then Christ Jesus came and died for us and in, uh, you know, uh, res uh, resolve our problem. He gave us everlasting life. He transformed our wickedness, our evil nature into the child, children of God, which I'm going to explain a little bit down here. But he came, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. You know, light is very important. In the daytime, we need light to walk, to work, to do everything. In the nighttime, we need light. Uh, you know, every uh, every day, every uh, is, is part of our life. Without light, we cannot do anything. We can't do anything because it is very, very tough. You cannot walk. You cannot see who is who. You, you cannot and, uh, identify who is who. And it, life will be miserable, even impossible without light. Because even the green, the plants produce their food using light. If there is no light, they couldn't make it. So light is the most significant thing. But the light of the spirit, the light of the internal being is uh, supreme than the light of the physical light of the world, the physical light of the sun, the moon, and, uh, and other uh, celestial bodies. The light of Jesus is the light which shines in our heart. In our heart, we read last time. You remember, I read for you John um, eight in the book of uh, John, John, the Gospel of John, chapter eight, verse twelve. We read, Jesus spoke again unto them. He spoke unto them, saying, "I am the light of the world." Who, Jesus? I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. The light of life. Life without Christ is in darkness, in utter darkness, because of the the work the uh, the kingdom of the darkness, the kingdom of the devil. The devil darkens everything, every thought. Every imagination, whatever we do. But, so when we follow Jesus Christ, 
we have the light of life, the inner light, which is in our in our um, uh, inner, uh, in, internal internal being, and the, um, and he gave his life so that it shines our you know spirit, our inner being, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not, you know. But you can say, but the darkness comprehended it not. So the light of Jesus shines in the darkness because the whole world is under the control of the darkness. There are all kinds of religions. There are all kinds of, you know, organizations. There are all kinds of things which people sneak in and do not care about anything else. And they are in, 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 in bondage with those practices. But the light shines the hurt. The light opens and cleanses the inner being of human humanity. So Jesus Christ, he came into the world to be the light of life, the light of our being. And, uh, I, you know, the bad thing, what happened is, it would have been like a great thing. Whoa, Jesus Christ came into the world to make this world, you know, to shine in every heart of the men, in every woman and men heart, and every children heart. Well, that is so great. No, no, that's not the case. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. They didn't receive him. The world did not. He says, he was in the world, in, in the world. And the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. The world knew him not. Knew, they, the world doesn't know this light, this amazing light, the, 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 the transforming light, life-changing light, redeeming light. They don't know the world, the whole world does not know that. He came unto his own, to, 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 to the people which he told them, he, he came in, his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So this is a mystery. The Jews, the Jewish people rejected him. The people of the rabbis, the teachers, uh, you know, who, the priests, they rejected him. But the Bible says, then the gift was for everyone else. For everybody who believes in Christ Jesus, who receives this uh, gift, they can become sons of God, the children of God. The children, the daughters, and the sons of God. This is a relation. Christianity is not uh, a religion. It is a relationship. There is Christ and there are people. So the relationship before, before the, through Christ with God, which we become the sons and daughters of the God of heaven through Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is our Redeemer. Jesus Christ is our Savior. He is our light. Whose light in our inner being gives us transformation. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. He is a new being. Some other part of the Bible says. So, to become the sons of God, you don't have to work anything. You don't have to do anything. This is amazing gift ever, ever, ever mankind has ever seen. This is the, the gift from the God of heaven to you and to me and to the nation, to, to the children to, of Adam who are coming after us or who are before us, that by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ to, uh, to become his personal savior, his, her personal savior, somebody can become sons of God, daughters of God. Sons of God even to them that believe in him, which were not born of blood. They are not the, the children of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh. It's not of man-made act. 
It's not. It's not the will of the flesh. Nor of the will of man. But of God. They are born of God. It is Everything is heavenly. Everything comes from heaven. And it is everything is spiritual. And God becomes our father. We become his children. We have a strong relationship with him. It is through Jesus Christ. It's not through Muhammad or, 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 or any other prophet. No. It is through Jesus Christ. By believing the Lord Jesus Christ, you become the child, you establish a relationship with the heaven, the God of heaven, the unseen God, who, who reveals, him, reveals himself through the Spirit of God so that you become the children of God. You have a father, son, a daughter, son relationship with God. Isn't that great? What else is great then in this world? There is nothing. Only this one is our hope. It has a everlasting value, eternal value. It, the value is forever. It's not for today. It's not for tomorrow. Not, not for everlasting. We become the children of God. We become the sons of God, the daughters of God by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ because he died for us. It's like you transgress, like you break the traffic law. And you are a small boy. And then you go to the court. And the, the, the judge says, well, you have to pay this much of money. If you don't pay, you'll be put in prison for this many years. And then there is, you, you, there is somebody who loves you and comes, okay, I'll pay the money. I'll pay the money. And then when he pays the money, you legally become free. And then we, it's the same thing in the same concept that men and women, we children, we, we people of the world sin against God. We transgress the law of God and the, the transgression of the law of God is death, everlasting death. We were supposed to die and be condemned into hell fire, but Christ Jesus the son of the living God came into the world and died for us. By accepting him, he paid for the, the sin of, uh, you know, all the children of God. But he paid for that, that including you, if you accept him and they become the son of God. Not the enemy of God, but the son. from the becoming the enemy of God, you try you transfer or 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 or, or go to into becoming the sons and the daughters of God. This is an amazing good news, and everybody should accept it. I believe because it, this this is what transformed my life. I myself was a religious person following a religion of my fathers and my mother and just sewing, you know, following everything what they did. But it didn't, it didn't do anything for me. Except we say, oh, this is our best religion, like the Muslims. The Muslims say, oh, our religion is the best one, but it doesn't have any value. The God is far away. He's not your father. He's not your, even, he doesn't have any relationship. Do this, do that. No. God, do, God does things for you. You don't do for God. Jesus Christ did it for you. He said on the cross of Calvary, it is finished. That means I paid for the sinful, the, the sins of men and women and children. So please, please listen to me. My dear brothers and sisters who listen to this program, please come to Jesus Christ and and then uh, pray before him. Lord, I am sinful. I did this. I did that. I, I am ashamed of my life. But now I'll give it to you. And I accept your gift. Please, please accept me as your child. And then it starts from there. And your life will be transformed. This is what the message of the Lord God is. God is good. God is great. God is the amazing Father that now become 
the sons of God and the children of God. Please, 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 do not, do not underestimate this, this, this um, uh, thing. What I'm saying, please do not underestimate it, because it is the only door for you to reconcile with God. The only way that you have to reconcile with God and to move from everlasting damnation to be transferred from the everlasting fire, hell fire into the, the kingdom of heaven and become the children of God. Thank you for watching and listening to me and uh, to this program. Please like it, share and um, you know share with others and um, like and subscribe. Uh, so that uh, I can have more, I can make more and more program in, in, in studying the Bible. Uh, as I, I started previously, I will continue uh, uh, teaching about Christ, about the kingdom of God, and how that is a very great thing to, for us. Because I believe this is a very, very, very great thing to do. Thank you, and may God richly bless you until we meet in another program. Bye-bye.